Hello everyone, welcome to Sheetmetric. In today's video, we will learn to build a cryptocurrency portfolio and their dashboard as well in Google Sheet. Uh, so here, uh, firstly, I will explain you the sheet. Then I will build the sheet from step by step from a scratch in a Google Sheet. This is the your uh, portfolio uh, in which uh, the headers which are marked in yellow coin symbol by date quantity and invested amount. So these are the manual entry field which you need to update. Uh, uh, like for buy date, you need to select the date on require you about for that particular coin uh, and how much amount you have invested then this will calculate uh, the rate of your coin and then the coin name uh, we are fetching from the master i will explain you in a while and then what is the current price this is being calculated from the google finance function and then what has been the current value and what is the absolute gain or absolute loss corresponding to that particular coin that uh, is being calculated here and then uh, what is the change percentage and what had been the holding period here at the top we are calculating what has been the total gain uh, in absolute terms so what has been the average growth percentage and what has been the average holding page uh, here we have built a uh, three graphs so the first graph is showing you the distribution of your coins based upon the current value in the portfolio and then uh, what has been the growth percentage for each of the coin for example btc uh, bitcoin is at minus 1.7 percent eth uh, eth ethereum is at 8.6 uh, percent and so on then we have another uh, column chart uh, here uh, we have mapped each coin to the invested value and the current value the so blue bar is for the invested value and the current value is in red so here you can also change the currency and uh, your uh, portfolio will get updated accordingly so here i have taken uh, eight uh, currencies but uh, you, you can take other currencies as well um, so let me show it to you uh, how we can build this uh, but before that uh, since i would be using a fresh uh, google sheet to use that and i have taken a coin master over here i will explain it to you so if you want to open a fresh google sheet you need to type sheet dot new in your browser uh, so that's the one method uh, and you must be logged into your google account another option is you go to the nine dot over here and then you can come down and then uh, click on the sheets uh, this will uh, go to the dot docs.google.com slash spreadsheet and then you need to click on the plus symbol to get uh, your fresh spreadsheet so here i have already a uh, spreadsheet so and uh, let me take uh, this and uh, i am renaming it to let the portfolio so uh, firstly uh, how many coins are supported here uh, so uh, is the function that we are using is the google finance uh, to fetch the cryptocurrencies so let me show you the standard documentation uh, on google.com slash finance slash market slash cryptocurrencies so here uh, they are supporting 75 cryptocurrencies which are listed over here so this is for the google.com slash finance website so here these 75 crypto coins are listed and uh, any coin if you want to get the value you can get so i have listed all those uh, names over here and uh, these are uh, total 70 five in count uh, you can see it over here but when i was trying to fetch the value from the google finance uh, not all coins were being supported uh, through the google finance so only 55 uh, coins coins i was getting the value so let me show you uh, so how to write the google finance uh, for any uh, cryptocurrency so, so we have a separate video for this on our channel i will put the link in the description you can watch that uh, over there here i will uh, very briefly write so what do you need to do? do, you need to write currency in double quotes and then colon and then again double quotes and then you need to write and and then you need to write the crypto coin code and then you need to specify the um, currency in which you want to get get this value and since this is just in hence it is in double quotes. So here you can see uh, we have bought uh, the Bitcoin price and this will also get updated uh, automatically once in a while. So yeah, usually it gets updated after a few minutes. So when I am dragging it down, so uh, the value has populated uh, for most of uh, the coins except one. So they, there are some temporary errors happen sometimes. So let me uh, show you. Uh, this is for all the coins uh, which was uh, listed on uh, this page. Uh, these are 75 coins. So here we will not get the value for uh, 25 coin approximately as on date uh, when I am recording this uh, video. So uh, I have written down currency and then I am giving it the code and then I am writing the, the currency code. You can uh, write any uh, currency code. Uh, for example, here I am writing INR. So I will get the values in INR. So here we will uh, have uh, any returned in around uh, 20. So, so this is the list uh, for which uh, you can approximately use uh, this uh, Google Finance function. Uh, and I guess 
maturity of population deal in these coins only so so that uh, should suffice uh, another disclaimer i also want to give it to you the dashboard that i'm building this is not for very frequent trader who buy bitcoin daily and uh, buy purchase uh, do a lot of transactions this is for some time who buys the coins once and then remain invested for six months uh, seven months uh, or for a longer period of time uh, because uh, the structure we have done it uh, is not to accommodate uh, all those multiple buy sale transactions for that uh, we will need to do a further changes into it uh, so this is also one uh, disclaimer so the very first thing uh, what i will do is i will write the header in our the sheet so i am copying it uh, from here just to save uh, time okay. so this is the header and here uh, let me do it top line uh, since uh, uh, th this would be built for multiple currencies and google finance supports multiple uh, currency let me show you the documentation this is over here so these are the currencies uh, should be supported with the google finance function i have not checked but i have majorly majorly checked for eight to nine currencies and it was working uh, fine so most of the major currencies i have checked uh, like uh, this is uh, dirham i have checked all uh, dollars us dollar canadian dollar australian dollar uh, euro and uh, gbp uh, these uh, i have uh, checked uh, so these, these are working uh, perfectly fine so uh, then i need to here write select currency and then uh, i am creating a drop down so for creating a drop down uh, what i am doing is i am creating at the rate and then going to the drop down and then a new drop down and here i am listing down a few currencies usd yen so here uh, i have a drop down for a uh, eight currencies i have built even build more uh, so that's uh, choice is up to you so here let's say usd then uh, these four would be the manual field uh, for us uh, so let's say i'm writing at btc for creating a drop down for a buy date uh, what i am doing is i am going till here uh, so i am limiting this uh, data entry work for uh, 20 rows means i am assuming uh, you will do entry for uh, the 20 symbols uh, or some uh, symbols might also repeat uh, so i am building it for 20 if you need more you can just uh, drag the formula towards down so uh, by date uh, so i will go to data i will go to then data validation and then i will do add rule and then criteria is uh, is a valid date for date pop up or uh, for a better control i am uh, writing it here date is on or before today this is the input so that manually you don't enter any date uh, which is a later date so from now on uh, here you can select a date uh, i am changing and doing a change in the format also just for better readability point of view so let's go to format go to number here i have changed. so this is six for really uh, how many coin i have bought how many amount i have invested so these are uh, let's say 0.2 how much amount i have invested is 20000 So same way we can do the data entry for all the coins. Uh, so just for the time sake, I, I would be just popping it uh, from here, and rest of the formula I would be writing step by step. Uh, here uh, we have we would be writing all the formulas until twenty three row. Uh, so let me do a border. So it reminds me that uh, I have to drag the formula till twenty third row. Okay. Uh, let's do meet alignment. Okay, so now for buy coin per price, uh, that would be uh, uh, this is the total amount uh, uh, for which you have purchased, and then uh, this would be divided by the coin. If you have like uh, any brokerage or transaction cost, so that you can account separately. But uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'm not uh, doing it. Uh, then I can just uh, drag it uh, over down. But if I uh, drag it down uh, here, so it would not look a bit better. Uh, so I will fix that. Uh, so before uh, that. uh we have to fetch the coin name so for that uh, we have the coin master over here that i had pulled uh, so these are the 55 coins so I'll support it if you want uh, that uh, i need to accommodate more coins than uh, these 55 coins uh, then definitely we need to take help of another data source uh, because google finance is currently supporting only these coins uh, so in those cases uh, please comment on the video crypto i will look for another source and i will make uh, another video for it to coin name so i am using a vlookup and do use uh, xlookup 
press is yours. So we look up the first is uh, yeah, you need to give the search key and then uh, you need to give the master from where you want to fetch the data and then I am locking it and then you have to get, get, give the index number. So here uh, this is second and then uh, for exact match zero. So this is Bitcoin. So here uh, now for current price, uh, I have to give a Google Finance. So Google Finance and uh, then here you need to write the currency column and and then coin symbol and then you have to specify the currency in which uh, you are asking uh, Google Finance to fetch the value. So here uh, for uh, that sake, uh, we have currency set in C1. So I am locking it and for B4, I am just uh, locking B. So this should give me the uh, value of uh, BTC, current value or live value of BTC in USD. So this way, this is the current price. So what would be the current value of Bitcoin in my portfolio? So that would be how much coin I have multiplied by the current price. So this would be the value. Dragging it down and then uh, for absolute, what has been the absolute uh, return gain or loss? So for that, uh, the current value minus the purchase value or invested amount. So this is uh, the absolute uh, return gain or loss. Then for change percentage, uh, so that would be uh, whatever had been the change divided by uh, the base at which you have purchased multiplied by 100. So th this is your change. For holding period, you have to write today minus your purchase date, so which is this date. Now, uh, this is not uh, looking uh, right. Uh, so to fix this, uh, what I'm writing, I'm writing an if formula. So equal to if, and then uh, if B4, I want to evaluate. If B4 is not equal to blank, then in those cases, calculate this. Otherwise, keep it blank. So this will uh, remove all the errors for me. So let me drag it down. Yeah. Now, if I, uh, let's say, write another currencies. So, so you are getting the values like that. So that way uh, I can uh, write it over here also. So if B4 is not blank, then calculate this. Otherwise, leave it blank. Now I am dragging it down. So that way uh, I, would, I would be writing all these if formula to all these uh, functions. So I am writing it uh, very quickly for you. So I'm done with all the if function uh, in columns. Uh, so uh, this looks a little cleaner. Uh, now uh, let's write it over here. So total return. So this would be your kind of a portfolio return. Uh, so what has been the absolute return? So that would be sum of this J42, J23. And then uh, here, uh, what is the average change percentage for your portfolio? That would be average of here, here, then what is the average holding period? Average holding, so that would be the average of this. Let's make it bold. I am changing the color for it. Uh, I, I guess you saw all the values getting updated. Uh, so now I also want to apply a conditional formatting over this range. Uh, so whatever is in loss, so that will get red and whatever is in profit gets green and uh, that also on a color scale format. So let's go to format, go to conditional formatting, go to color scale, the suitable color scale, red to white uh, to green. Uh, same, uh, let's apply over here also. So Go to format, go to conditional formatting, color scale, is this, yeah, so this is, uh, color formatting is done, uh, here, I need to reduce the decimals, okay. uh, now, uh, to build a, a few graphical interpretation that I have shown you, so, 
this was one coin distribution current value then coin growth percentage and then coin invested versus uh, current value so uh, let me select all these data points so up till here and then i will go to insert go to insert charts and then uh, let's uh, select this donut chart and uh, this is coin symbol is fine the value is not correct also not correct so i'm removing it rather what i want uh, i want it over here current value current price yeah this is current value so this looks cool. uh now let's name it start axis and titles and here you can write coin distribution on the basis of current value so this is a first uh, pie chart or donut chart you can say next uh, we want to build another graph it should be for the growth percentage of each of the coins uh, so go to insert go to charts and column chart is fine uh, x axis x symbol is fine uh, for series let's say remove all series and the series that i would be adding would be the change first here uh, let uh, write a data label add a data label over here so you will have a value there are multiple uh, digits after a uh, decimal so let me reduce it yeah so this looks cool so here uh, let's edit chart customize chart and axis title point growth percentage so this is another chart we have if you will have multiple entries for same coin let's say if you are making uh, another entry for bitcoin you purchased on another another date uh, then in this format uh, in the chart you need to click uh, aggregate over here this symbol uh, same uh, we have one more chart where uh, we have built a coin what has been the invested value and what had been the current value so i have selected the data let's go to insert chart then here we have uh, column chart x axis coin symbol is fine in the series i am removing all the series and uh, aggregating it and then for series uh, is the invested amount versus current value here uh, i can do the chart naming coin invested current value you can add a data label Let's go to data level. Although this is a bit clumsy over here, uh, so uh, that's your choice if you want to add it or it. So now next is just you can uh, rearrange how best it suits you. Okay. Uh, you can also build another sheet uh, where uh, you can copy all these uh, charts, so your this entry sheet will look uh, clean. Uh, so that's all for this video, guys. Uh, if you liked our content. Uh, please do consider subscribing and that's another video on your screen related to how to use a google finance function for fetching the cryptocurrencies how to use a google finance function for fetching the cryptocurrencies value so see you there thank you